Welcome. In front of me, I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. So, before we actually get started, I'm gonna quickly mention a couple things. Number one, this process does remove things like screen lock. Let's see if I have one. I do not, so I'm gonna quickly set one up. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna quickly mention that even though it removes screen locks, it will not remove Google accounts or Samsung accounts. Samsung accounts in particular, uh, if you perform this, the device basically will become locked and you will need to either, I believe, confirm the pin pattern password that was previously used or obviously uh, log in with the Samsung account. Google accounts uh, typically can be bypassed, though at the time of recording this, and neither the Flip 4 nor the Fold 4 have a working bypass for Google account. So uh, I'm just kind of mentioning this right now. If you do this and you're logged into either one of those at this moment, if you don't know your pattern, password or pin, whatever it is, the device will become locked. And at, like I said, at the time of recording it, there is no way to bypass this. Hopefully later on there will be. So if there is, I'm gonna record that. But at the moment, we don't have one. So let me quickly set one up. I'm gonna go with the pattern. So there we go. You can see that I do have a pattern right now. Now, one more thing that we will need is a cable that is plugged into your computer. So I have one prepared right over here and it's basically good to go. But before we actually begin, I'm gonna mention how we need to do this because Samsung will require you to put in your uh, screen lock in order to turn off the device. So if you will see that if I get to boot options and I try to power it off, it basically forces me to put in my screen lock. But there is a way to bypass this by holding power key and volume down, so both of those keys, for longer. So you will keep on holding them. You do want to also interact with the display so it doesn't time out like it did for me right now once you're holding it because uh, when you're interacting with it and the screen actually goes black, it means that the phone turned off. Once that happens, you want to immediately switch from volume down to volume up. So I'm gonna do this right now. Now we can plug in our phone right away. Nice battery percentage. And hold power key, volume down. Disregard this. Now I'm gonna just kind of mess around with the display. It turned off. So switch to volume up and power key. When you see the Galaxy Edition, I think we can let go of the keys. Yep, And it will boot us into recovery mode. Uh, and additionally, we can also unplug it. Uh, the cable was only needed to get us into this mode. So from here, you will need to use volume keys to navigate up and down in order to select wipe data, factory reset, and then confirm it with power key. And select the second option, which for some reason is in Cyrillic. Okay. But that basically confirms the factory reset. And at the bottom, you should see last entry, the very last one, which is data wipe complete. At which point, reboot system now will be selected by default. So press power key to initiate that reboot. Now, this will continue the process of resetting the device in the background. So give it like a minute or two minutes. I believe like a minute should be enough and it should finish it up. At which point, we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, it is now finished. And you can set up your phone however you like. Now for me, I believe this phone will probably be locked, so I will need to verify it, but in your case, if you weren't logged into anything, uh, you should be good to go. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.